Yo, what is up guys, Tricks TRG here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best tips and tricks to improve your accuracy in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 to help you win more gunfights, get higher kill gameplays, and get more nuclears. Alright guys, so we're getting into the first tip in today's video is going to be snap aiming. It's the number one way to improve your accuracy, especially when using a weapon like the Maddox. I don't know why, but you see most people going like this. That is snap aiming. You see when you do snap aim, it does reset your recoil every time you do do this. That's why there's absolutely no recoil on my weapon right now. You guys can see that. And the thing is about having it also, snap aiming helps you out a lot just because it resets. You get more aim assist when you do do this. Because every time you aim assist, if you guys did not know, is it helps you, every time you aim in or tap the aim button, it helps you lock on to some, your enemy, whoever you're about to shoot at. Like, I have aim assist on, obviously it's helping lock on to them. So whenever you are snap aiming, the well, number one thing it does is reset your recoil, but it also does give you more aim assist when you are doing this. That's why if you play CWL or any kind of comp like that, you'll see everybody is snap aiming. If you guys do not know how to snap aim, it's pretty easy. Anybody can do it. All you do is just tap on and off of your aim button like that. Recon and kill. as you can see, every gunfight, I'm getting no recoil at all. Get off of me, you weirdo. And moving on to tip number two, guys, is make sure you have the right sensitivity. Just because if you have the right sensitivity, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This guy coming to kill me. If you guys do have the right sensitivity, you get more shots to the upper body in general. And if you guys see yourself shooting first and still losing gunfights, that is the main problem you guys will have is your sensitivity is probably way too high. So if you are, say you're doing this, hold on, say, say this guy's right here and my aim's all like that and stuff, obviously I'm going to lose the gunfight. So if your aim is off like that and you are getting more shots to lower body, I do recommend lowering your sensitivity just because your sensitivity is most likely too high for you to play on so i'd recommend starting at around 6 6 and working your way up as you get more comfortable with it personally i do play 8 9 but i played lots of cod so i'm used to a general sensitivity in each call of duty and i also been playing on higher sensitivity for a while so i'm not used to playing on a lower sense but anyways another tip for you guys is make sure your crosshair is always in the center of your screen and that will also help you land more shots to the upper body so you do not want to be running around like this running like this and then having to shoot him in the feet like that you don't want to have your crosshair down there when you are playing pubs comp all that your gun you want to have your gun hold up hold up i'll shoot in a second all right you want to have your crosshair obviously the big white thing in the middle of your screen you always want it to be up towards the upper body there's a dog behind me when i find a person i'll show you what i mean all right you want your crosshair around right here centered in the middle of your screen i see this guy he's dead centered in the middle of my screen guys so when you are running around, you shouldn't be running around like this, just looking down constantly. That is not what you want to do. You want to have it up just so you do get more shots to the upper body, guys. And another thing is your reticle on your weapon. Certain reticles are better for certain guns. Like you do not want to be running a reflex on a Maddox, really. Just because I feel like you do get better movement when you are using an ELO on this weapon. And another tip I have for you guys is mainly just play practice these tips a lot in custom games that i am telling you shooting bots also helps a lot with improving accuracy if you do turn your aim assist off hold up is that guy chasing me no all right if you do turn your aim assist off guys and you do play lots of bots with your aim assist off just that helps your accuracy out a lot because that is just you purely aiming and when you go back into a multiplayer game guys it will help you out a lot trust me i do that before i get on before i play any games i do go into a custom games i shoot about 30 50 bots but if you guys do have lots of problems with aiming i recommend shooting more bots than that for longer periods of time and it does help you overall practice your aiming all right guys another tip i have for you guys is make sure whoa hold on hold up hold up hold up hold up is make sure guys you do have grip on your if you guys have problems aiming make sure you have grip on all the weapons that are possible say with the ICR guys, if you do not want no recoil on that weapon to help improve your aiming with that, make sure you do have grip at 1 and 2 on that weapon guys, because it's just going to help you out a lot. Alright, 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 what is this kid doing? Once again, you see me using the snapping technique right here. He's gone. Oh, I missed some bullets, give me a second. Alright guys, so yeah, I recommend just using these tips out. Let me know how it is 
Just let me know in the comment section below if you guys do want to see more tips and tricks videos. There's are many ways to improve your aim except the ways I've already listed, which is just make sure if you are aiming shots at the upper body, make sure you do lower your sense. If you, if you are shooting first and losing gunfights, you really do need to lower your sensitivity because once, like I said, that's a big thing because you do not want to be shooting everybody in the feet when you're running around. But if you guys do want to see more tips and tricks videos in the future, such as how to get more nuclears, oh, oh, how to win more gunfights, stuff like that, how to go on longer kill streaks, how to get more kills in a game, stuff like that, just let me know in the comment section below. But I would be going over the tips one more time for you guys before I do end this video. So when you are playing, make sure your crosshair is directly in the middle of your screen before engaging in a gunfight, guys. You do not want to be running around like this. You do want to make sure it is in the center of your screen just like oh just go right there just like that it is always in the what in the it is always in the center of my screen you guys can tell every gunfight i get into in my videos also it is always in the center of my screen like that also you guys will never see me running around like this unless i'm reading chat when i'm streaming you'll never see me running around like this shooting at someone's feet that's not going to be happening and the other tip i said in this video is snap aim you go like this it helps you improve <laughs> It helps you improve and get less recoil with your weapon and also you do get more aim assist off of that guys because every time you do aim in and on when you're playing on console every time you do aim in if you have aim assist on it does give you aim assist every time you do aim in like that you can see how much quicker and how much less recoil i get let me show you when i'm not stop aiming like see snap aiming also helps with mobility because right now i'm not stop aiming and look i'm missing some shots so there's an example but why snap help snap aiming does help you out a lot and once again make you sure if you aren't hitting your shots double check your sensitivity start at 6 6 work your way up some people say start high and work your way down i do not think that is a good idea because if you start at 12 and you play on 12 for a while you're gonna get used to that 12 sensitivity eventually obviously but like i'm just saying overall lower sense means better aim i've learned that a lot playing cod the lower your sense, the better accuracy you will have. I used to play on like a 4-4, but playing on a higher sense will also help improve your movement. So that is another good thing. You got to take that into consideration. Not just your aim, but your movement in general, especially when playing Black Ops 4, guys. So I'll be putting the rest of the tips, well, the tips I just said in the description below. If any of these tips do help you out, guys, let me know. If you guys want to see other tips and tricks videos, let me know what you guys do need help on while playing Black Ops 4, and I will bring them to you guys here in the future. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If these tips worked, 